can't be here, which is the center frame where my focus point is. I have to be here. Weird, weird Sony, fix your crap. The obsessive day pay. Let's be honest, 8K is huge. It is bigger than you'll probably ever see. It's bigger than most movie screens. It turns out IMAX is a little bit bigger, but we won't get into that nitty gritty. Bigger than your phone, this is breaking about 2K now. It is bigger than laptops. It's obviously bigger than a 4K TV. If you put four 4K 60 inch TVs in a grid matrix pattern, that equals 8K. A diagonally that's 120 inches of 8K, beautiful crisp video. That is so many pixels. I can't even count how many pixels that is. Now you would need 16 2K TVs in a square to match 8K. That is insane. That actually doesn't seem right at all. No, that's correct. Yeah, you need 16 because each 4K TV would need four. And then an 8K TV would need four 4K TVs. That's 16 of these because this is basically 2K, 16 of these. That's crazy. Over at Knack Knack, we shoot almost everything 8K from the smallest little social media, Instagram post, feed, commercial, up to what we show on broadcast television and then up to what makes it into the theaters, uh, which we've only had a couple spots and they were just ads in a theater. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're headed that direction. We use the red DSMC2 Helium over at Knack Knack. That's what gives us our 8K beautiful resolution that we shoot everything on and we are crazy for doing it. The amount of storage and hard drives that we have to have is a little bit insane for 8K versus 2K because let's be honest, a lot of people in this industry do still just shoot 2K or 4K. Not a lot of them are shooting 8K. I think it's getting there. Most Netflix shows are shot on red so they're probably at 6K or 8K, but we do it and there's reasons why, and let's go over those reasons. Number one, you can reframe. If you shoot something in 8K, you deliver in 4K, there's a lot of room to work with with reframing. This is what David Fincher did on Mindhunter. There's actually a video here that goes through a lot of the parts where they use the extra resolution to reframe a shot in post. It just gives you that extra freedom. And let's say you have a really tight shooting schedule and you get a shot that's beautiful. You get a scene that the actor played awesome, but you really should have done one more for framing because maybe your frame just wasn't perfect. It wasn't exactly what you wanted. But if you shoot a little bit wider than your delivery, you have room to reframe. Technically, you can reframe your shot 200% at 8K if you're delivering at 4K. I wouldn't recommend it. There's some reasons why you get more noise. Uh, it's a little bit more obvious to the viewer, but you can do it. And most people wouldn't notice you doing it. So that gives you a lot of freedom. Stabilization. You know, you have so many pixels in the frame. A lot of production houses, a lot of movies are shot with this camera because you have so much more flexibility in post you're able to add in cgi elements way easier when you have more tracking points you can make more tracking points by having more pixels and that's what 8k is it's just a ton more pixels so stabilization software that's what it uses to stabilize the footage it uses pixels if you have more of them it's going to stabilize easier better and faster super sampling i know big stupid techie word, but let's go through what it means. It means when you're down resing from 8K to 4K, you actually get a better 4K image because the software is averaging the tones of those four pixels into one, right? So it's averaging those four pixels, gets you one solid pixel out of those four pixels. This allows you to see more col color subtleties, more colors overall, and more realistic tones than if you just filmed it at the exact size that you're delivering it. So actually down resing gets you some higher quality pixels than just filming at the delivery pixel depth, which is probably 4K. These days it's usually 4K delivery. Also, we've done this a lot. A lot of our clients ask us to pull stills out of our footage and we can do it and it can be really high quality because we're shooting at a resolution very similar to a Canon 5D. So the Canon 5D Mark IV can shoot stills up to 40 megapixels. Our 8K camera equals 35 megapixels. That's not too far off. 
the stills that we've pulled from our video for our clients, they've used on their websites. They've used on giant printouts at conventions, like massive printouts. It was really cool to see. I'm hoping for one to use one on a billboard because that would really just seal the deal on shooting red. So that is why we do it. There are drawbacks, obviously. It's way more storage. Uh, it's, I mean, that's really it. It's just way more storage. <laughs> I, I can't really think of any other drawbacks. Let me think about that. No, everything's positive. You just, by shooting 8K, it is annoying for your DIT or, or whoever's handling the footage. Most of the time that's me, I don't complain that much. So we just have to buy a lot of hard drives. We have a project right now, we have six terabytes of one project, one 20 minute video, and that's because we have five cameras and we all shot at six to eight K. But it's doable, it really is doable. Storage these days is getting much cheaper. You can take out the takes you're not gonna use, get it on a smaller hard drive, a smaller SSD maybe, and you can still edit off of that. I still edit raw 8k video even on a 20 minute spot it's doable comment down below if anything was unclear or i missed anything any ideas you have for videos going forward stay obsessed